After Team USA's must-win World Cup match yesterday against Iran, there are new concerns for the players on the opposing team. Those players received backlash from the Iranian government for refusing to sing their country's anthem in an early match. Now there are new reports their families have been threatened. All of this with those ongoing protests in Iran. So joining us now is Foreign Policy Advisor David Tafuri. David, thank you so much for joining us. We're hearing unconfirmed reports of crackdowns on Iranian people who celebrated the team's loss. Even rumors one man was shot and killed for possibly honking his car horn in celebration. How would this situation have been different if Iran had won that game? Well, it probably would have been different, but the players were in a really difficult position no matter what. There was a lot of intrigue going into this game yesterday, and there's still intrigue about how the players are going to be treated. Uh, notably, the players were in, in solidarity with the protesters, refused to sing the Iranian national anthem in their first game against England. And they were reportedly then threatened by the uh, Iranian Revolutionary Guard. And the threat suggested that the Iranian players' families back in Iran could suffer if they showed solidarity again during the World Cup with the protesters. Uh, obviously, the Iranian government and the Iranian regime wanted the Iranian team to win. That would be a nice message for them uh, to beat the United States. And many Iranian people probably hoped their team would win too. But there was also some protesters that felt losing would somehow show a message as well. And reportedly, some Iranians were celebrating after the Iranian team lost. And also, there is there are some reports that suggest one person who was celebrating yesterday by honking his horn was shot by an Iranian policeman. We don't know if that's accurate or not, but apparently one protester was killed. And so all of this is the backdrop to and a, a loss that's really devastating for the Iranian team. And notably, the Iranian team played very well. They played their hearts out in a, a really tough, close game yesterday against the U.S. All right. So, David, what about the players on the team? You know, is it possible that they or their families could, could face any type of punishment because of that loss? Well, absolutely. Iran is a police state, and the regime is basically putting the country on lockdown because of fears of the protests continuing to spread and, 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 and ultimately challenging the regime. And so they don't want players, especially players that were in the spotlight during the World Cup, who were covered around the world, to be showing solidarity with the protesters. The Iranian regime is certainly upset with the players for having not sung the national anthem in the first game. And so there could be retaliation against them. I hope there won't be, though. I hope the Iranian regime, uh, you know, takes a higher path than that. But I wouldn't bet on it. All right. Uh, David Tafiri, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.